I'm making the queen of all custard puddings, a spice creme brulee. So I'm mixing together some egg yolks and fresh cream. And to that, I'm adding caster sugar, vanilla essence, and then some ground ginger. So this I'm just gonna give a quick stir. And a good tip is to try not to aerate this mixture too much. So try not to get too many bubbles in there. So just slowly break the egg yolks and mix all of that into the cream. And then just to make extra sure there's no lumps or any sediment in there, I'm just gonna strain that just to make sure that we get all the little little lumps that might form in there out. So as you can see, not a lot of bubbles in there and that's going straight into our ramekins. And I try and fill them just above or just below the top, just like that. Now they're going into my oven tray. And to that I'm gonna add water just halfway up my ramekins. So this is called baking our bain-marie, and this just allows the custard to just cook more gently. So I've preheated the oven to 180 degrees Celsius, and this uh, is gonna go in there for about 15 to 20 minutes. So I've checked on my creme brulees in the oven, and I think they are ready. Mm. I can already smell that spiciness of the ginger. So really to check whether they are ready is to just touch them like that. And what you're looking for is that wobbly, almost jelly-like consistency. So once you get to that consistency, it should be perfect. Now, just to speed the cooling, I'm going to remove them to put them into the fridge before we finish them off. My creme brulee has cooled down completely. Now just for the final touches. So I'm mixing together some sugar with ground cinnamon. This could go really nicely together with that ginger that we've added in the custard already. So I think it's gonna give us a really great spicy flavor in our creme brulee, a great combination. So I'm mixing that up. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle that over the top. So flavor is important, but equally as important is the texture. So, and also the melting of sugar in a pan and then pouring over just doesn't work for me. And the real proper way of making a creme brulee is having that really nice, thin, slightly burnt caramel on top. I'm trying to melt the sugar and then burn them. Some chefs also enjoy using brown sugar but I believe white sugar is really the best because it just allows you to caramelize it properly as where brown sugar just burns very quickly. So you want almost that really nice thin, and you can hear that. That's the way it should be, that's perfect. And now just to check. So you have that really nice creaminess, still nice and wobbly, and that nice thin caramelized crust on the outside. Mm. That's a winner.